Hey everybody, Vine's back for the next part 2, Final Fantasy 8, brought to you by MuchGames.ca, part 8 to be exact. So we got our first seed mission assignment, we just have to find out what it's about. So let's move to the, well, entrance of Palaeon Garden. Is that an exu? It is. Ah, yes, they do have high hopes for us. I think there's something we can get in the library now. Pretty, I think there is. I thought there was like, or maybe we gotta come wait till we come back and get, uh, later in the game to get it. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we do. Pretty sure we do. All right. Anyway, let's continue on. To the front gate and meet up with, uh, I guess Zelfi and Zell and Headmaster Sid. Anyway, they let's see. <laughs> yeah, I'm remembering to go for the outside. And we match her here. We get to stand next to Zelfie. Okay. Ah, here comes Zelf. What the hell are you riding? I'm gonna escape. Hoverboard, I guess. Looks like a hoverboard. Keyboards. Okay, so basically it's the same thing as a hoverboard. Doesn't matter. Confiscated it right away. Understood. Zell's not too happy. We got a timber. So, Timber, eh? Forest. Okay, so when they said the forest of Timber should have changed, we are gonna have to say, but the owls are still around. Alright. Yep, just us three. Ah, I see why. We. Okay, talk to Headmaster Sin again. Magic Lamp. More about that later. I'm not going to use it right now, although you can. Basically what Magic Lamp is, is... Uh, well, I'll say more about it later. Yeah. Where, in the video that I eventually do use the Magic Lamp, that's when I'll explain it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have to take these uh, quizzical off of... Quistus and give it to Zell. So let's go to Switch. Junction Exchange. Uh, I guess we get some more cure. We might as well. Cure. Give it to me because I got it junctioned. To one of my stats. Okay. Uh, 4,000. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so before we go anywhere else, I think what we're gonna do, and it's kind of cheap, and it is kind of cheating, because I have a, the guidebook, we're gonna go to test in the tutorial. Basically, we're gonna write a seat exam. Yes. No, it does not have a guardian fighter. Yes. And this one is... You can't assign specific abilities. Yes. And there we go. So I'm gonna keep... I'm gonna do this right now on camera. Show that. I'm just going to go through it quickly. Like I said, I do have the... I know the answers anyway, but I do have the answers next to me too. Uh, and basically what this does is it brings me a seed rank. 
and the higher C rank goes, the more money you get when you get paid. Because in Final Fantasy VIII, it's not like seven. It's not like the predecessors where you get money from enemies. You don't get that in battle. But basically, in battle, you get experience points, item drops, AP, and AP. You don't get uh, money. The only way to get money is in your seed rank by getting paid. So I'm going to try, and basically the highest you can go in the C bank, or in the tests, is whatever the max level of Squall is. Now, right now if I'm at level 11 and we're at C rank 11, we can still go higher. Because, it means we can do that many tests. So we can basically probably go up to level 7, uh, rank 17. So just copy what I'm doing if you're playing along and you will do great. And that's like I said, I got the answers and basically level 14 I think due to my seed level I can go up to, yeah, we'll probably be able to go up to level 17 because we can go up to whatever my level is. No, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> nope. We're now level 15. Okay, let's do number test number 10. Okay. And I think we can do one more. If you're not able to do another test because of your level, it will t the game will tell you. Doom. And right now you can't see. So now we're at C level 17. So let's make our way to Balam Town, shall we? Just turn the world map here a bit. I could do some training off camera or even on camera, but not gonna be necessary. The next couple of sections are basically next couple, of, yeah, areas are basically really easy. Um, they're not hard at all. So let's keep going. Draw point. Uh, is that thunder? Yeah, we'll give it to Zelfy. You know I have a junction, I'm going to give it to Selfie. This is a customization shop. Basically, you do not buy weapons in this game. Um, like in a traditional sense, you have to pick up items and customize your uh, weapons. That kind of, and like, that is kind of something similar, uh, well, the game that came after this, Final Fantasy IX, kind of took both the idea from 7 and 8. In Final Fantasy IX, if you're watching my LPL Much Games, oh, uh, not Much Games, on my own channel. Um, basically, the way that works is you can buy weapons in FF9, but you can also synthesize weapons and customize your weapons. So it has elements of Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VIII. But this game is just you start off with a default weapon and basically you just customize it if you want to. Otherwise, you're stuck with the uh, the weapon you have. The original gunplay, but I will be customizing everybody's weapon and getting them to their ultimate weapons, and each time you customize a weapon, you basically get, can get, a, not all the time, but a lot of times you will get a new limb break with it. Limb breaks are a little bit different to get. Uh, when I do eventually get a limb break in this game, I will show you. Basically, uh, well, uh, show it up. Basically, a uh, limit break in this game only happens in desperation mode. Desperation mode meaning your health is in the yellow. It's not like Final Fantasy IX where you have a limit gauge, or the, you know the game that came after Final Fantasy IX where you also have a limit gauge, but they call it trance. This game is only when you have desperation. Now there is a magical spell later in the game. Uh, and I will be getting it for everybody. 
that if they cast it on someone, then they will be able to use Olympic any anytime during that battle. And that, I'm not sure, I think that spell will wear off eventually, and then you just cast it again. But that's late, really late, later into the game, probably on uh, disc 2, disc 3 of the game. Let's talk to Zelfie. Oh, she loves trains, just like Sheldon Cooper does on Big Bang Theory, of course. Hmm. I'm glad you're so excited. Hmm. Oh, pet pals valuable. Yeah, okay. Pet pals are going to be useful later on. Yeah, I'm gonna say I don't. <coughs> Oh, come on. Yeah, I just want to say that to him. Alright. You say no, uh, no. Nah. To him, like, no again. He pretty much just. I think he just tells you anyway. <laughs> right now, I am suffering from a bit of a sinus headache on oh, my, um, right side of the nose. I get sinus headaches a lot, well, a lot, actually. Especially in the spring. And fall. Actually, any time of year I can get it, but couldn't go one today. So if I sound a bit off, that's why. Oh, there's Elfie. Ah, Elfie's not feeling well. Join the club, Elfie. Well, I'm feeling fine except for the bit of a sinus issue there. the hell? Okay. Were we drugged? Seems like we were drugged. First selfie, then Zell, then me. Yeah, I think we were drugged. We're gonna have to report this to the headmaster if nothing happens to us. Hmm. Are we dreaming? Looks like it. Seems like we're dreaming. Who are these guys? Ward. Ah, oh, battle. Who's this Laguna and Ward and what's the other guy's name? There's three of them apparently. These guys look interesting. Quizzico? Wait a minute, they got Quizzico? And Shiva and Siren? That means the other one probably has it for it. Okay, the other guy seems to be named Chorus. Okay. Interesting, interesting. But who are these guys? And. Why are they in, like, are we dreaming or something, or, kind of curious viewers, what's on the go here, I'd say these guys are dead though, yeah they're dead, alright, so he uses, uh, of course uses like, daggers, ward uses a big ol' Harpoon and a, it looks like Laguna's using a gun. Machine gun? Hmm. Oh, dude, he didn't have the Guardian Force command. So it looks like they're using our junctions then. So I'll so use them on. Oh, another battle. Oh, these guys again. Alright. Eh, let's just use effort. Ah, oh, sleep now, if it won't summon. <laughs> Sleeping while standing up. <laughs> Interesting.
Okay, Quizzical's gonna go first, obviously, here. But who are these guys, and why are we here? Why are we why are we seeing this? What significance does it have to do with us, if anything? It's a good question. Hmm. Yeah, there's other people doing some LPs on Much Games Gods too, like Final Fantasy Tactics. I think it's Tactics Advance from Grotus, and then myself doing this, and then Jew Twenty Two is doing. Well, a game that me called Bongo and Collected as a co-op. He's doing a solo, which is um, New Super Mario Bros. Wii. So check that out, and then there we go. Oh. <laughs> All the question marks. I think we're in the clear now. You know the Almighty Timber Army. Okay, so this has to do with. So is this a flashback then? Of like Gal and these Gal, what's it like Gal Badian soldiers? Maybe that's what it is. Oh, there's a trial point. Oh, I think it's water. I think I'll take it from Laguna. And I guess for this vehicle, here's what we'll do. All right, all right, all right, all right. So back in Dingling City, <laughs> middle of the street. Chill, man. It's cool. <laughs> Don't go up here, piano lady. Who's who's this girl? Let's speaking of. All uh, right. I guess we gotta go the other way. Let's find out. Yeah, it seems that way. So, Dingling City looks like it's a big city. Maybe it's a capital city or something. Oh, Gab Batty. I guess we're gonna get Gab Batty a hotel. But anyway, I think I'm gonna stop the video here. Uh, because it's a save point probably. And in the next part, we're gonna figure out more of why we're here. See you later, guys.